I was uncertain of myself and before kung kaya ko ba kaya ko ba to produce something at the level of what the international were doing when I focus on hey this is something that I really like parang nagkaroon ng desire to just keep growing keep learning and then the rest didn't matter as much anymore Hi, I am Hannah or Habi. My brand is Studio Habi. Studio Habi is a brand that I made to make cute things and just share my love for cute things and other parang series that I might love to the world. I want them to feel happy from using these products. Like, oh, it's so cute. Like, oh, I have something cute with me today. <laughs> yung parang ganun, na titignan lang nila and it makes them smile, makes them happy or improves their mood. Yeah, so that's what I want to achieve as a brand. Habi is actually my name. So Hannah Abigail and then combined. So Hannah B. Pero masyadong common yung Hannah B. Japanese kasi. So, Hey B, na wala lang yung ibang letters sa gitna. I started last October 2017. Kaha graduate ka lang ng interior design in UP. The profession didn't feel something that I wanted to do. So, I was asking my friends, ano ba pwede kong gawin? So, somebody suggested to me na, oh, enamel pin. So, sabi ko, sige, enamel pin. Kasi kaha graduate lang from college, so wala akong capital, wala akong equipment, wala akong anything. So I had to borrow money from my dad. I actually started with two characters first. After noon, sabi ko, parang ang pangit na netong dalawang to. Kasi diba na grow yung art style ko. So I like, I want to remake into the style na I, I'm happy with. Nung ginawa ko na yung dalawang yun, sabi ko, maybe I should make more since I'm already making more. After noon, if I'm making this much, I should probably kickstarter it, crowdsource it, because this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, hindi ko nakaya i self-fund yun. So dun, dumami na yung dumami. So nag-indigogo ako. After noon, nakagawa na ako ng isang set. So from that set, nakagawa ako ng next set. Tapos bumalik ako sa Kickstarter naman for an, a bigger, bigger series. After noon, may mas may funds na ako for a bigger set and bigger, bigger. Yun. Until yung pinaka-latest na halos like 22, 22 characters. Yun. So that was a lot of pins. Yeah. So that's how it started. I don't draw every day. What I do is I inspire myself more than the actual drawing. Yung criteria ko is I want to love it before I make something out of it. Lahat sila favorite series ko. So yung pinaka latest ko yung sinabi ko na may 22 characters. Like that's one of my most favorite anime ever. Actually, yun yung naging goal ko. Like I want to make merch. I want to make items for this series because I really like it so much. What is it about the art of others na attracts me personally. Can I incorporate it into my own art? I, know, I like a bit soft characters, pero not too soft na it's too cute. Something na still a bit stylistic na simple. I tried incorporating those in the way na I draw and the way na I simplify my lines in Illustrator. Yeah. Parang at the end of the day, even if you look at other artists, you're still you. So you want something to be your own work. Like, I still want to build more on the cute and aesthetic, so maybe in the future something that can do both. Super nice feeling to see people appreciate things that you make, especially if it's something that you poured so much hours on, so much hard work. But people don't see the weeks and months of preparation beforehand. And then when you go to a convention, when you go online and put it there, just may order. But may, may little, may little dance kang gagawin in your own studio. Because hmm, heart, heartwarming lang siya. I don't know if it's quit or it's just got super discouraged. After several na collection na fandom, I decided na hey, I want to make something original. I want to start this original section of my brand. Kaso na na counterfeit yung pins ko. Kasi sa pin community, it's a problem. Factories would trace original pins or steal yung artwork from mga uh, artists and produce wholesale through factory and then sell them at a cheaper price. So people unknowingly like, oh, it's an Alibaba. 
Alibaba. It's in, uh, it's in a wholesale website. Now it's probably legit. I can just go get it. People don't know that it's stolen from artists. Kahit fan art, kahit original, like all of them. Marami. Yun. Tos they will spread to from Alibaba. It will go to Shopee. So sobrang discouraging siya. Tos kasi mahirap siya i take down. You have to apply for copyright or not. So it's a hassle. Pag nakita mo may sales na yung counterfeit, like that was super discouraging. Parang it's not worth your time. It takes up so much time to battle counterfeits and the whole process is so mentally draining. Tapos nandun pa rin yung same fear na baka manakaw na naman siya, ma-counterfeit na naman siya and I copyrighted my originals kasi syempre I don't own yung kapag fandom. It's super complicated having your business in social media because you get too exposed to parang different artists, the pressure of engagement, the pressure of likes and shares. Ganun. If you don't have a proper mindset of it at the start, you would confuse it with your measurement for success, which is wrong. I know, I know it's wrong, but somehow I can't turn it off sa brain ko. Like, I don't know if it's human or something. Like, I have to shut it off, but I can't. So I'm working on it. Your world is not about the numbers. At the end of the day, it goes back to you. Are you happy with what you're making? Are you happy with your growth? Are you growing? Rather, growing as in you as a person, not just your account, not just your followers, not your, not your business or how much you're earning. Are you investing in your Self as you are investing in your business. Parang those are the more important things to focus on. Parang shift of focus. Ganun. I wish I knew that it was more work than it seemed. It's not just making something and then, okay, that's it. Like, nandun yung customer service, nandun yung social media, tos nandun yung when you do sales, marketing, and advertising. Parang lahat para kailang mo. Gawin. You know what other people don't realize? Na kahit na freelancer ka, there's so much things that you have to do. Even if you're at home, people don't see that, and you don't realize it until you're in that spot. Na I wish I knew that it's better to separate yourself from the brand because my brand was about what I like. Nahalo ko yung personal. If I'm not in the mood, I won't do it. Yun, which is not an approach you would be taking for a brand. That's just you working as a person. That's what I learned from AJ actually. Yung sa boot camp so it's a boot camp. Niya. Your business side should be separate from you yourself so that you can manage your business better. And I wish I knew that. Para I could have been more productive with my time and to push myself to keep showing up every day. Kahit na I'm not in the mood for it, but I showed up for it because it's a business, it's work. Kasi freelancer. So I'm a freelancer parang, na, oh chill, chill, yun. Like I can do, I can manage my own time, but it's not as simple as that. So first one is time management. Even if it's so tempting to just stay in bed or watch series, like it's better to set a time that this is the time that I want to work. Kahit morning or just afternoon, whenever you're most productive, and stick with it every day. Hindi pa ding ah, I'm not feeling it. Skip one day. Then another is consistency. It's better than one rare post on social media, pero not at the cost of burning out. Kasi bahala ka sa every day ka magpost, eh, wala ka na magpost, so mo papagod ka lang. Something na keeps you on the radar of all your followers without disappearing. Don't let the fear of starting stop you. If this is something that kahit you just want to try out, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it works out, then just keep trying and maybe it will grow into something that you could earn from. I still want to keep making cute things. But I want to explore different media. I actually want to try ceramics, pottery, cute little pottery stuff. I also recently started trying resin products. So being able to express myself through various, produce more illustrations rather than just merchandise. So just growing in my portfolio of things that I can make and express cuteness in more ways.